So it's a camper van from Burstner. This is a Player 630. So it's a fully equipped all-rounder, ideal for everyday life. It's unusual to see a camper van from Bursna. €66,590 and its length is 5.48 metres, so quite short. And it's, like I say, a camper van. Quite a bit of optional equipment it's got on it, 78,250. And mass in running order is 2,588. Okay, let's have a quick look inside. You've handily got all the controls there. It's quite good. That's a seat, isn't it? Yeah. A little locker there. This roof feels quite low. So have a look. Once you're in, you can stand up quite nicely. Yeah, so we can have a look down at the cooker unit. So two burner gas and sink. Yeah. Yeah. There's the Renault cab, it's an automatic. Yeah, and you've got the drop down bed here, there's like a padded bit there. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think I'll struggle to get through here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's have a look from the back here. A little uh, compressor fridge there, a little locker. You've actually got a toilet in here. <laughs> That's easy to miss. Presumably there's some sort of, I don't know, the privacy there. A little um, drop down sink. Yeah. I don't know how you get the privacy for the toilet, but there you go. Up. Oh, this, it's this thing here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to get it in the fridge, but there we go. That's it. There we go. Oh, it's all right. It's quite clever. Quite a bit of storage at the back there. Yeah. So you could use this as your only vehicle, couldn't you? The accessory stands here. It's Seaflow stand here. Avtex, Falcon, Isabella Horning. Yeah. Well, this beast here is the Coachman Imperial. Very Imperial it looks too. TM845. Wow. Twin axle. 201,000 pounds. Yeah, so it's on a Mercedes, 170 brake horsepower. It's 8.8 .8 meters long, 2.329 meters wide. MTPLM is 5,500, and mass in running order is 4,625. Wow. <laughs> Well, that's some garage. Yep. Dometic unit in yep. there. Shower head. Loads of storage here. Yeah. Look at these seats here. Fantastic. A drop down bed just over the cab. Shows how big the cab area is, doesn't it? We looked at Coachman before, they've got these sort of shaped lockers. Don't know if that's real leather or not, but it certainly looks good. Quite a big table, but hey. This one has got a microwave. Microwave cupboards here. Yep. Drawers. Fantastic. 
huge work area here. Ooh. Audi and everything in there. So we've got a tiny oven. <laughs> a little tiny oven there. But a big free freezer compartment. And yeah. And then you've got the washroom area. You can close the washroom area off. Wow. That's quite something as well. Yeah, loads of workspace in here. If you turn around, so you've got the shower area there. Can close it off. There's a fly screen there. But yeah, that's good. Oh wow, this is why you have a van this long. Is that there's loads of space in here. Yeah. try and have a look at that tomorrow it's getting a bit crowded here obviously going to be very popular but what a vehicle unfortunately I missed this um, yesterday when it came we had a look at the B62 we didn't look at the B64 obviously it's a four berth one and what they've done here is they've put a cab at pop-up roof on the top here so you've got its own little sunroof there so if you really need to take four people with you in a camper van then maybe this is the way to go this is also 74,999 yeah I didn't really get a chance to have a look at this yesterday well, that slides out by the looks of it travel seats okay so on the Adria stand and this is an Adria Twin Max SLB and it's on a, a man which is the uh, same family as the Crafter. So let's have a look. So this is a 680 SLB and 112,140. It's 6.8 metres long, so it's quite long. And the MTPLM is 4,000 kilograms, so you will need a C1 license for this. But the payloads are massive, okay. 720. Okay. So they're just doing their team briefing at the moment, so apologies for that. Um, they have got the fold up beds, obviously, demo nicely demonstrated here. We'll have a look at them back in a minute. Loads of storage under there. Gas bottle in here. Let's go around the front. So let's go inside. I'm saying how many things have got nicked. But, like, shower heads going missing. What's up with people? Nice cupboards here. And here's the dashboard of the man. So I think it looks very similar to the crafter. You've got obviously the uh, blinds there and blinds on this side so that's that's good already fitted very nice looking seats nice little lockers here here got the uh, truma control panel there and the vans control panel there so it looks like it's all touch screen yeah and switch the pump off, battery, and so on. That's good. All very simple. Seat belts, electric step, and travel seats here. Two travel seats. They've got a nice table with some cup holders. Looks like there's plenty of room to get your legs in there. Some of the specs. 
Okay, it's moving back. I've got a little little oven here. Oh, it's actually a, is that a microwave grill. Oh, that's good. That's different. Usual sort of sink arrangement, two burner hob. Nice little, that's a nice touch. Somewhere to hang your knickknacks. Turn around into the bathroom or the washroom. Toilet again is quite high up, it's on a fair plinth there. Quite a good sink, good sized sink. Some sort of storage areas here, I've got a timbre door. Little cupboard there, shelf there. This is swing wall, washroom, so we can swing that round. There we go. Now that makes a nice shower area, and that's good like that. There's a fair bit of room there. Yeah, no, very clever. Yeah, like that. One step up into the bedroom. I miss the fridge. <laughs> so here's the fridge. Medium size <laughs> fridge, I would say. Uh, compressor fridge. It does mean you've got a fair bit of cupboard space under here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I like this. Turn around. Okay. Yeah, so that's the Twin Max 680 SLB. Okay, so the Pilo P696 Evidence. Okay, let's have a look. Well, wow, real feeling of space in here. Excellent. Loads of room across there. Nice big kitchen. You probably have had more workspace in here than brought it out here. But yeah, look at the sofa layout. Wow, impressive with this. Pressed with this. Quite a big folding table. And usual sort of thing nowadays. Travel seats underneath here, and presumably on the other side. Can't see it at the moment, but I imagine so. It's got this like um, leather effect. <laughs> I keep calling it vegan leather. I think that makes some people laugh. Uh, but yeah, a vegan motorhome. Yeah, so obviously the travel seat's here, isn't it? You've got your headrest that pops out of the cupboard there. This one's got the drop-down bed above, above me, which uh, is quite a height. That's really good. You know, I'm. I'm just under six foot and there's loads of headroom above me. So if you're bothered about that. It's like little, little, oh, that's quite clever actually. They've done a little shelf with a lip in there. That's quite clever. Obviously you can't really fit cupboards in there if you want this bed to come down any sort of length. Speakers underneath in a good position. I always like the speakers further back away from the cab. Otherwise it just sounds like it's the cab. So thought about that. Nice display here, this one's, auto this one's automatic. Guess who didn't switch their phone off. Lights above there as well. Smallish window there I'd say, but not too bothered about that. Nets, curtains, blinds, fly screen. They've done the full thing here, haven't they? Yeah, more expensive pleated blind type thing. Nice big window there, great big picture window. Excellent. Over here, sliding window so you don't bash the door. Okay, and your controls are over here. Uh, yeah, okay. Nice looking display, I won't mess with it. TV at, at, on a sliding bracket. That's always good to see because if you've got the fixed height ones, you know, the ones that are way up there, like that. Obviously you can adjust it so it's up there out of the way when you're getting in the door. Good idea. Never keen where they're near the door, you know, you forget about it and stick your face inside the TV. Great size fridge. Yeah, with a, <laughs> with my favourite thing to see, icebox. And still you've got a cupboard in here. Presumably you can put your TV and 
satellite stuff up there, controls for the bed there. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, and huge washroom. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> good, sh good shower. Yeah, very impressed so far. Do it here. Not sure how that works. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Yeah. I like these motomes. I've seen a few like this this week that have got a cupboard. In this case, drawers behind. Hanging space up there. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here. They're like fitted wardrobes, aren't they? There we are. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very impressed. Strangely enough, you've got a main socket just above the toilet. Ideal for frying your kettle. <laughs> yeah, don't drop your kettle in the loo. Yeah, to is that a toilet roll holder? Oh yeah, because it comes out there. Smallish sink. I think they could have gone a bit bigger on the sink. But yeah, massive feeling of space in here. Very impressed. Got a little um, Thetford duplex oven. Quite a big sink. Put racks up here. Potential for rattling there. Quite a nice little Thetford two burner. USB mains. And your seat belts there. Yeah, but hmm. Very impressed with these pilos at the show. Before I come back to have a look at these, plus our friends buying one as well. But yeah, let's have a look in the garage. And a very nice garage here. It's not particularly wide, but you have got this shelf there. So that's the P696D evidence. I think the evidence means it's got everything on it. <laughs> I think. Have a look in the P626 evidence and the exhibited vehicle price here is 79,200. And we've got a slightly smaller garage in there, but you could still fit e-bikes in there, I guess. Folding e-bikes. Got some tie downs there. It's a natty little shelf here. That's quite good. So something taller. Golf buggy or something, I don't know. Awning on the top. Someone pointed out I'm always saying these vans have got reversing cameras, and why am I surprised? I'm not surprised, I just have to point out they've got reversing cameras. Otherwise, people say, You didn't show the reversing camera. Good space for bottles here, it's quite easy access, I'd say. And still got a shelf up the top there. Yeah. Alder heating, as your electric. It's got an under locker here. I think uh, Linda said, have a look at this. Is that, is that way around? Which way around you do it? That's it. It's got like a tray in here. So sort of like a wet box. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that good? So your, your, um, <coughs> your hoses things that you don't really want inside. Stick it in there. Yeah. Nice for your alloys. Got, <laughs> that's interesting, I haven't seen one of those for a, a while. Add-on aerial there. We obviously haven't got the mirrors that have got the built-in radio aerial. It's compact-ish. We'll have a look at the dimensions in a second. Just a little bit there. Are these the medium mirrors? I'm not sure. What width is it? Doesn't 
length is 6.2, height, a width 2.3, okay. Okay, so it's a little bit narrower, but it's got the wide track um, rear axle on it. So if you look at that, you probably can't see with that sign there, but that axle's a bit wider, give it a bit more stability. Well, let's have a look inside. All right, should we start at the back? Yeah, for a change. Okay, so we've got a Tambador toilet here. Yep. Uh, toilet's reasonable height, yep, I'd say. There's your sink. This is a sliding door thing there. Must be a way to fix that, can't see at the moment. But let's hold it with the other hand. Yeah. There we go. Quite a neat little shower. Back. There, must, there must be a lock or something on that. I can't, can't see where that is. Maybe it's up the top there. And you've got some something here. Oh, go. Okay, so you've got some shelves in there. Yeah, it's not a bad size washroom. Um, this was yeah. It's not. It's not the biggest I've ever seen. I've got to admit, but it's okay. The duck board there. Single drainer by the looks of it. Feels very stylish in here. There's a mirror there and a massive fridge. Yeah. Well, I say a massive fridge, it's, <laughs> it's our size fridge, but it's a good size fridge. Uh, yeah. It's the same fridge we've got with the doors that open. Oh, is that shut? In theory, doors are open both ways. I don't think they do on that one, actually. I haven't said that. Oh, wow. A cupboard at the back. There's a socket <coughs> right at the back, so you can put your kettle and everything in there, just tucked out of the way. More shelves there. Presumably that's <coughs> into the garage. What we got in the way is... Oh, I was expecting that to, to open like that, but that's just... a chopping board really. Two burner gas and a duplex uh, oven grill. Nice stylish drawers. They feel well made. These metal handles. <coughs> there is a thing to... there's two things. Do you think so? Oh yeah, so yeah, that's cut off so <laughs> it goes over there. Yeah, so you can pull the pull the curtain across, won't do it. Controls here <coughs> controls here, touch screen panel, bed up down, sliding a uh, TV on a slider, TV point up there. Looks like your step and light controls are there. I think this is probably where your headrests are. I don't know. All right, silence my phone. Not sure what's going on here, to be honest. It looks like there should be like headrests or something, because presumably your travel seats are here somewhere. I've got a nice... Um, which way does it fold? That way. Hang on, get my fingers around it. That's it. Nice folding table, and with it folded, there's loads of space in there. These sofas are a good size, and this is a really long sofa, isn't it? You can fit three, three or even four people in there. What a fabulous lounge. For a van that's under seven metres, there's loads of space in here. I can see why Linda was taken with this. You've got the drop-down bed above here. Which is there, and I think she said it comes all the way down, so you can get you know in at a reasonable height. Yeah, you can see the stops on the, uh, the slider there, so it comes down to there. So you probably get into it. Actually, you think about it, stepping up onto this step here, 
you can probably get in quite easily there into there yeah no very good got this very stylish white leather effect seats like I say these come with automatic found the headrest it looks very nice I think I'll be putting covers on this but yeah yeah oh, I like this yeah no it's good it's good really good we'll sink up here sink up here <laughs> I'm talking, my brain's not working. Yeah, I don't know what's going in there, but some cupboardry there. Yeah. Well, the fact it's got these um, cupboards at the back here, isn't there? Yeah, there we are. I was looking for more cupboards. I was just, just going to say it seemed a bit short on cupboards, and I found this. There we are. So plenty of storage there. And obviously in there, but that'll be for your kitchen. And it looks like there's access through to the garage there as well, which I absolutely love. I think that is great. You know, you put something in the garage that you don't want indoors and you can just reach through and get it. Excellent. Whoop. Ah, I've got to get hold of the catch underneath. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's huge, that. Seems a bit of wasted space on it because it's quite tall there. But uh, might end up putting an extra shelf in there, I think. Yeah. Okay. Just looking at the front here, we've got cab lines. Yeah, we have got cab lines. The ones that come up from the bottom lose the uh, rear view mirror. Don't need that. I assume that it's got the rear display on the on the screen there. But yeah. All the cab controls are on there. Okay. Fire extinguisher there, already added. That's an automotive type fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's a nice looking motor. Home. Cabs all in white on here. Oh, I was, the other thing is you get things like you know fog lights at the bottom there. That's great. Lots of extras with this. I think, Linda, I think you'll be very happy with this. Good choice. I haven't looked at a huge number of camper vans at this show. Uh, this is a camper van with quite a difference. This is a Yukon K-Peak 700. And as you can see, it's got off-road wheels, pop-top, ladder. There's some serious tires there. 131,352. All right. And just under seven meters. Uh, three and a half tons. So standard equipment, 90 horsepower. Okay. Keyless start, automatic air conditioning. Well, I hope it's got a bit more than 90 horsepower. As displayed, 131,350. Yeah, it is a stunning looking motorhome. Its curb weight is 4.1 tonnes, so you will need a C1 licence to drive this one. 4x4. Four four. It's on a 490 CDI Sprinter. Electric there. Truma heating, water and toilet there. Obviously the door's on the uh, continental side. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've got, they've got this jacked up. I think they must have. No, they haven't. It is, that is how it is. So plenty of ground clearance if you fancy traveling across Africa or fording the, the Ford at Burford. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there is a Ford at Burford, actually, now I've said that. <laughs> but here we have a fabulous Mercedes cab. You need a bit of a stepladder to get in here. But, uh, and it's a little bit dark in here, but uh, often these sort of exhibitor 
models, if I can call it that, seem to go for the black interior, which is, well, it's honestly, it's stunning, really. It's a really nice uh, table here, quite, quite a big table, that, I would say. Uh, yeah, but plenty of legroom. You sort of got the usual camper van, two burner and sink. There appear to be an oven here, but some Continental Electrics underneath. USB, strangely, here. Yeah, I suppose that's okay. Tap, that's it. And at least not having an oven does mean you get lots of cupboard space. A bit obvious, I know, but little shelf here, smaller cupboard there. Let's turn around. There we go. We've got the controls up here. Again, a continental plug there. I assume if you're buying it in the UK, obviously all that will change. Looks like a battery computer, it says there. Trim heating controls and a control panel. So three, lots of controls. So let's stick my head up here, shall we? Oh, we can get some light on it. There we go. Yeah, nice little reading light there. That looks really cosy, actually. It does. And a fly screen net. And another net at this end. Yeah. What else can I tell you? Let's have a look at some of the storage. Let's you know, start with the washroom first. Bit of a shuffle, camper van shuffle. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Nice square area. How tall is it? Oh, I think there's plenty of headroom in here. And yeah, it looks like the sink slides in and out. There's like a button here or something. I can't see how you push it back in, but I'm not going to force it. Okay. Taps over there. Has got a separate shower. I think it's good to see rather than sharing it with the sink. Oh, it's a hanging rail in there. Looks like there's sort of things to hang things off there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know what that's all about. Maybe we're missing something or someone's nicked something, you never know. More drawers here. Uh, cupboard here. Not exactly hanging space, but that's good. Fridge here. Yeah, not bad size fridge. I would say medium fridge, compressor fridge. Some uh, one of these. <laughs> That's it. The hooks which pop out. Okay. I haven't seen much in the way of wardrobe space. I might be missing something, but I suspect it'd be in here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Up there. There isn't one that side. Okay. Just that one. Got some. Electrics in there and some supports for the step. That's good to see. There's a little drawer here. Oh yeah, that goes quite a way back. Yeah, quite a big infill there. But yeah, these beds look a good size. Oh yeah. Loads of lockers, lockers along here. Well, these lockers fairly fly up at you, whack you in the chin. Some controls there. Is that for the bed? I wonder. If... I don't know what that does. Probably heating or something. It says Truma. Have a look down there. See what we got. Can't see USBs in here, but. 
nicely padded in here. Ouch. Yeah, that's all padded. Quite neat. Functional, I would say. It's not overly, overly dramatic. Looks like you can make a bed up here, possibly. What's going on there? And that's your travel seats, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'd be a bit intimidated by the height like, getting in here. Well, that's some boot, actually. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, gas locker area. Bit of storage. The panel here for your battery. The electrics. Assume someone's pulled that off. Forgot, guess we forgot me light. It looks like these beds fold up. But what a height it is at. A reassuring thunk. There is a version 6 here. She's still got the 4x4 chassis pack, but uh, 115,518 without the uh, the mad off-road tyres. <laughs> yeah, still almost as high. I think it's a similar layout. Yeah, very similar layout. Hasn't got the leather interior. It's just got the cloth interior. Nonetheless, very nice. So what we've got here is the LV 7.8 GJF, 172,000 pounds, and it looks like it's got all the options on it. It's got a 10 inch media pack. Okay, price with options, on the road price. Well, let's have a look. This is quite a length, this isn't it? I wonder what's it say about it? Specs. That's just all the features there from 131,000. Four seats. Payload 100, uh, 895 kilos. Seven. Seven. Eight JGF. So 7.85 meters. So it's not as long as I thought it was. It's probably not that much longer than our own one. Let's have a look inside before the crowds arrive. Quite a nice stylish sort of, uh, what would you call that, tile effect floor. Okay, let's turn around. Let's start at the back. Okay. Oh. There we go, we find the lights. There's a light switch there. So this one's got beds you can prop up in day mode. I think that's okay. Got cupboards there. There's a... Oh, they've got like stays so you can leave them. Oh, that's good. I'd be a little bit worried about bashing my head there again. So if you do it once and then or seven times as someone said, and you wouldn't do it again. Uh, curtains and nets and fly screen. And blinds. Yeah, it's nice that they fitted a couple of lockers in here. They didn't have to do that, so it's quite handy. That obviously you've got well, that's padded, so that's good. But presumably it does all the uh, sliding out and massive bed type thing. It's interesting. The door there. Uh, no, drawer. Okay. All the lockers have this like cut out so you can get to the, the clip. Uh, what 
we can see in there, oh, there is a light there. So quite a nice bit of hanging space and a shelf so you can create more hanging space. Okay, turn around. It's a little bit narrow through here. But yeah, I think I would say now you can close the door off. Yeah, and you make a bigger wash space. There we go. That's a humongous shower. That's good. Really good. With some towel rack there and hanging here. Oh yeah, it's good. It's thoughtful. That that's very thoughtful. That. Okay. Well, that, yeah. That's your drying drying rack. I presume I won't pull it out all the way, but that must come out further. So you can dry clothes in here, wet things, wet towels. Very good. Yeah. And the toilet. Got some more space behind there, which is a bit, a bit strange. But and there. The toilet's up on a bit of a pedestal, which is a shame. I don't really know why it needs to be up there, I presume. I don't know whether the wheel's there or not. Loads of cupboard space here. I'm not going to pause that, I don't know what's going on there. And again, bizarrely, main socket in the washroom. Towel and toilet brush. And some thoughtful touches, like a little hanging rail and coat hooks. Oh, wait a minute before we do that. Oh yeah, there's a door here. So one of these catches. Oh. I haven't got my glamorous assistant with us today. But yeah, there we go. A lot of motorhomes are featuring this sort of um, lighter what was it called? Sandalwood or something like that colour this year. It's, yeah, it makes it lighter in here, you know. Many years ago everything used to be dark, didn't it? Now what we got here, we start with the bed here, presumably is a lock for the drop down bed. Oh, it'd be on it, it'd be electric, wouldn't it? it probably is a lock here. But yeah, massive double bed above, huge cab. Let's have a look in the cab. Just a little, I have to duck here. Just having to crouch a little bit to get in here. But yeah, very nice. It's nicely, how would you put it, the, the Fiat cab in here is nicely integrated. Matching colours, it doesn't look like it's been bolted in there, which it, of course it has. And you've got, you know, lockers at this side. Yeah. Lovely looking seats. I'm just going to have to sit in those. Yeah, these seats are really, really comfortable. Yeah, this is a beautiful motor. Sliding doors on the cab. The habitation door, as usual, for Continental vans is on the passenger side in the UK. Well, the habitation door, the, that would have been the driver's door, is what I'm trying to say. The driver can't get out that way. But presumably could get out that way. So, but it would be nice to see some UK handed vehicles. Looks like you've got a fly screen that drops down there, comes all the way down. It's quite nice. It looks a beast of a. <laughs> looks really solid. Windscreen's miles away. The thing, if you get condensation on, a, on an A-Class, you're sort of having to climb over the cab to get to the window. Yeah, I like this one.
I shouldn't be surprised these days, but Rusna are doing camper vans. And I've been asked by Edwin Hall to look at the Elysio C602 Active. Now I can't see that here on the stand, but uh, I do believe it's a rear bed model, transverse bed. This is the C644 Active. So I think this is, what is it? It's 636, the, uh, the camper van length, and it's 66,999 and massing run in order uh, option of equipment I'm trying to see the thing that doesn't say so it's on a 3500 and massing run in order is 3020 so the, the 602 is actually quite a little bit uh, not as long this is on the longer chassis this one is 644 <laughs> there you go uh, quite a nice garage there actually, good space. And there's obviously the water tank there, headrest there, looks like there's more space under there. Bed behind. I'll have to have a quick look because the show is not long open in there. Nice step, have a cubby hole here. I can't see how that comes out, but there's obviously a table there, two burner and a sink, and all drawers in this one. There is a little oven there. Okay. A smallish fridge, compressor fridge, Thetford. And more cupboard space there, somewhere to put your TV, there's the locker thing, USBs, that's good. And it's quite a nice little lounge, I don't think you'll be sleeping that way. But uh, <laughs> you spot the slight issue for me with this uh, drop down bed, <laughs> crack. But, yeah, if you duck down, that's okay. That is, uh, Somewhere to store your bed in there. Presumably it will make up into a transverse, I guess, this one. Sliding window there. An opening window behind me. Oh, it looks like your hanging space there. A bit narrow, but that's okay. Yeah. Quite like the interior here, it's quite cosy in here. Got the lights up here. Looks like that's, I don't know what that is, I'm better not press it, I'm going to have the bed coming down on my head. Yeah. Uh, 400 by 400, yeah. yeah. And we've got some more lockridge through there and in there as well. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a nice washroom. Difficult to judge, but I think that toilet's a little bit high. Looks like some sort of swing wall arrangement here. Does that come out? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously that makes up the show. I won't do it because I've got the thing in the way there. All cupboards there. Tamba door. Yeah. It feels very well made. I do like the uh, upholstery. To the cab. Got a table at the back here. So that looks a complicated thing, doesn't it? <laughs> I presume it stands on a post, or it looks like it could also be freestanding as well. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, if you've got a table that can do everything, that's great. Yeah, and there's a stand there so presumably that fits somehow onto onto that or use legs and stand it on its own very clever yeah you've got a window above you can see it for the light controls above here so you've got a fly screen here on the door that's good sockets there looks like you use a 
place for a table or a hanging rack there. Yeah, quite spacious for a camper van with that lounge at the back. Yeah, if you buy this at the show, automatic transmission is £990, which is not bad actually, considering how much an automatic transmission normally costs. So that's the Elysio C644. There is a 642 here. I think that's got the twin beds here. So you sort of lose a bit of a bit of the lounge, well a lot of the lounge, but you do gain some fixed beds. And, and fixed beds can go up as well, so we'll create some more space. Okay. It's interesting, it's just uh, like a zoomer that folds up there, makes up the bed. But well, you could put things underneath that little gap there and in here. Yeah, there's your gas locker. Tie downs here, notice, so if you've got bikes and things. There's another door out there which I can't quite get to. Got space to get underneath. This one's got a pop top roof. Yeah, so there's a little pop top roof and a, and a ladder to get up there. I can't get near it at the moment. But yeah, interesting to see vans from Bursner. The van by Bursner. <laughs> well, that concludes my coverage of the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023. Hope you found it useful. Uh, and I think five videos is enough, don't you? Uh, so if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We will be resuming our Europe trip directly after these videos. So do come along for the rest of that. Uh, I've got some really interesting sort of things to show you in that. And I can't wait to get those videos out to you. So we'll see you soon. Bye then.